So I guess we're back. Like, thank you if you've like stuck around till yeah. like, still be here. <laughs> yeah, thank you everyone. Yeah, for joining back here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like crypto probably would have a better solution somehow to this. Like, at least it's getting there, which is like insane because how bad the UX was like even a couple of years ago. Even mm. like, I don't know. Even this last few months got a lot better. But anyway, yeah. Mm. Um, I don't know. Is there anything else we should chat about before going to questions with the people that stuck around? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I, uh, I wanted to ask you a question that, uh, uh, you know, like, first of all, like we were finishing on that, you know, these developers and how this snaps, snaps, they can snap feature on Mina they can yeah. use. And I feel that there can be very cool uh, kind of features like because for Polygon, it will then uh, Mina you snap feature then almost start starts becoming an oracle, right? Which can uh, yeah, have yeah. The re, you know, the real-time data, right? It's so like that's a, like really cool. Yeah. It's like a personalized First oracle. Time oracle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's pretty cool. So, you know, I, I can't wait for that feature now, like, you know, now that you have explained me <laughs> and some of those uh, these things. But yeah, like I was with you, I wanted to ask that today in our zero knowledge uh, session, uh, we were asked that, uh, asked the panelists that which is, which another layer one uh, you see uh, you know ha is doing some cool work and i think alex from uh, matter labs he said that uh, you know he is very interested with mina protocol and according to him you guys are working for the decentralization and uh, you guys are probably the only layer one team around there you know be it like and the disc under discussion was solana and avalanche and what not yeah. they were saying that you know like because you are because layer one will have to fight on the level of decentralization. And I think you guys are, uh, what Alex said, that you guys are the most decentralized layer one, which is, you know, building around. So how did you guys achieve uh, that level of decentralization? And yeah, what's the secret sauce there? Yeah, I was, I was in the audience. It was really nice to hear, actually. Yeah. Um, it, yeah, so this is like the main thing that we've like been focusing on. That's like why we made such a lightweight blockchain. That's like why Mina exists is so that we can have a solution that makes it easy to run a node, easy to validate the state of the chain, easy to bridge to other platforms as like a side benefit. Not, it's like almost like a main, it's like a, one of the main benefits now, but mm. it's like a side benefit of having such a small proof as well, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I think that, you know, we've had like almost or around a thousand different full node validators running on the network, wow. which is like... Thousand is a, yeah. is a pretty big number. Yeah. So I, I, I think like that goes a long way towards kind of evidencing the decentralization of what we've been able to do with Mina and the tech. Yeah. So, um, and I, then what is the geographical distribution yeah. of these, uh, like, uh, these validators? Like, is the, are they distributed across? Yeah, the it's, it's, um, I think like, I don't actually have percentages in mind, but like, a, you know, I think a substantial, but like less than 25% from the U S mm -hmm. another like similar amount from Europe. And then the rest is just like really dispersed. Like we have a mm. big community in Russia. We have like a sizable community in uh, Korea, China, uh, Southeast Asia. Um, we have people, I think I, I, I think we have from every continent, uh, someone running a validator somewhere. I, I think it's more than that. I think like we have, I, I want to say Genesis members are over a hundred countries, mm -hmm. um, which is insane. Like uh, we, this is the Twitter card somewhere. It says exactly how many, but, but yeah, yeah no, um, it's very geographically distributed. I think because we went over after in our test nets, like hobbyists and people that just want to run a node, like you could used to mine proof of work coins. And yeah, yeah. that's, that's like a dream come true. Like, although we are a layer two or kind of secondary layer. So, you know, we are driving some level of security from Ethereum, but uh, even then, like, you know, we were, we, we have been trying to decentralize our chain and all that. And we have like hundred validators now. Mm -hmm. And it has like taken so much work on that. Like, you know, I am yeah. like, kudos to you guys to have like thousand plus validators. Like it's, it's really uh, amazingly done. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, it took, it took a long time to get there, but it's like awesome to yeah, see yeah, as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I, I guess we have like the last like four minutes here. Um, we can go to questions now. So I'm just going to scroll up and see if anyone is asking any questions. I think the other stream uh, had uh, some of the questions. I believe that. Oh, I think Dre is reposting questions. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. Thank, thank you. Thanks, Dre. Uh, 
Question from the last stream chat. Are you considering entering the NFT market? I guess this is probably aimed at, at Mina because it yes. probably does not make sense yes, to yes, this yes. at Polygon. For Polygon, like, I was like, um, no, we are the NFT market like after yeah. Ethereum. Yeah. I, I think um, yes, but I think the way we're doing this is probably really different. Like One thing I'm excited about is the ability for these proofs to end up on places like Polygon so that NFTs can be minted that are based on real world data. So this could be both saying like, oh, like, here's a tweet I made, like, kind of like that that you know that chain that is is uh people were mad at about until recently uh yeah. bit, bit, bit cloud. um i mean this is like yeah. the more i'm thinking about it this is like a huge niche that you guys can carve out for yourself like you know i mean like yeah. just just like being the most decentralized oracle yeah. uh, you know in, in a sense right like, yeah yeah and with zk proofs like yeah, it's really crazy like uh, yeah it, it is i think that this like the 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 technology is, is just like, it's really insane what you can do with it. Mm -hmm. And it's going to have a really big impact. Um, mm -hmm. So it's, it's. I'm glad we're with Mina, we're able to, to start doing some things with it. Yeah. yeah. So I think yes, but like, we'll, we'll see exactly how, but there's, I think some ways we can help the space in general with doing more NFT things, which is cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, in February, Mina and ETH started a cooperation, Polygon ETH ETH Snarks, which is an exactly solution to ETH as well. Is that what the coverage ETH is all about? Or can we expect more things? So yeah, so uh, you know we're interested in doing many different bridges to get like Mina on different platforms. And the key to all of this is that Mina is very easily verifiable by you know your you know end device or whatever because it's, it's a small zero knowledge proof, but also inside of another smart contract. So we can reuse the same kind of technology that lets Mina be verified in ETH to have Mina be verified on something like Polygon as well, and then case on Polygon. So um, yeah, I we don't I don't have anything to announce like right now, but like it's it's going to be like. I feel like I always say this, but like actually, it'll be very soon now to like hear more about the Mina Youth collaboration. So uh, anyway, there'll, there'll be more on that soon. Uh, how should regulators use ZK Snarks? I'll answer this one, and then if you if you see any questions here, you want to answer too. Like like, feel free to jump on them. I think that um, it really depends on the regulator. I think that one really big advantage to ZK Snarks is that um, it avoids all these issues around sensitive data leaking, around people mishandling data which is like equally, I think, a concern of regulators that they should be having. Um, like, I think if, if I imagine like a future financial system or a future even like internet system, I should hand over the data that the other service needs to do what I want without handing over anything extra so that, that there can't be any data leaks so that like we're not exposing ourselves to the same risk. So I think they should view them very favorably, but um, I, I, I think they, they, they will see the opportunity to do that as, as they get more widely used for these kinds of use cases. Um, okay, I, I, I'm curious if you even answered this. Do you have an app, cool app in mind that can use Mina and Polygon together? Yes, I already said like EasyFi is one app and then NFT, like, you know, this is like, that's why I'm saying that I was telling you that, you know, imagine, you know, imagination or sky is the limit for these kind of applications like NFT based on real world data, again, like huge uh, use case. Um, and I think there is another team, another team called Real Items, uh, which is doing something like that. So that could be an interesting mm -hmm. team. And these are not like I'm not talking about these hackathon teams. I'm talking about these protocols or applications which are already like you know hundred million dollar valuation and all mm -hmm. that. So the, those teams have the might to kind of build these solutions out in a production ready mode. And these are not experiments I'm talking about, right? And 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 then you know like for example. Uh, some of the teams want to do under collateralized lending uh, on their protocols. That would also be very cool. And then there are two, like, I mean, again, like, you know, yeah. this is like, still very early stage for me. But like, you know, people are also doing uh, exits like here and there. So can there be some, you know, proof of exit on one side and which can be used over there? But it's st still very unbaked in my mind. But I feel that, you know, this 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 functionality itself uh you know can offer huge number of uh you know opportunities for the developers to build on i mean this social security number of india like you know just go to the aadhaar website and you know you kind of log into your account and then say that okay verify me on on polygon via mina and then you create a proof and put like give me a hash and you know then i can log into any application when my when i log in with my address so basically an identity protocol can be built yeah. On, on on Mina and Polygon that way, yeah. right? So and then people can like all sort of the all sort of applications want to 
avoid civil uh, attacks right like you know where one person is like you know doing this thing so many of the applications can use this let's say you are building for india you can say that okay even though you are anonymous but i want to make sure there is a real person and you know this there's no uh, you know civil thing happening over there so yeah. huge number of scenarios possible and this is why we're excited to work together cuz like there's just so many possibilities for like zero knowledge proofs when you start yeah. getting it out into like real applications and like that are actually can yeah. take advantage of them um, yes yes like for example like DAOs, for it. example DAOs, right you don't want like five or one person having six different accounts and you know controlling a large part of the dao yeah. you maybe you know you say that okay you can use india this this six seven uh, you know geographies but you need to be kyc in all those geographies right and then you give like this a identity protocol which yeah. is using mina and then you know it kind of verifies all of them and then you know that definitely these are five different people this is not one one person i didn't realize india's was so digital also which is like very awesome for this technology and just yeah. cool in general too yeah yeah, yeah. I think we're at time. Uh, so thank you everyone for showing up today and for seems like a bunch of you stick through the 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 you know the bump the the bump. <laughs> so thank you for doing that. Uh, it was great chatting. I will probably look into uh, new streaming software for next time so it yeah. can happen again. But yeah, thank you. It was great. Um, thank you guys. Yeah, great. Yeah, and thanks for being an amazing community. Like thousand plus validator. I'm like wow. It's thanks. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for coming thanks, on. Guys. Bye. Okay. Bye everyone.